I like to demonstrate how we can instruct our client to do an excellent self-care stretch for the cervical cranial extensors, the muscles in the back of the neck, to the top of the shoulder, upper trapezius, splenius capitis, levator scapulae, etc. All those muscles back up in here. So uh, I'll explain it to you the way I would talk to the client directly. Justin, you're sitting here, and what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to rotate your head and neck to the left, take your left hand, come up and over the top of your head just like that, and now you pull your head and neck down to the left. And this should stretch musculature in the upper right. Now, if he does this and he doesn't stabilize his trunk, then his whole trunk will laterally flex over and flex forward, and we will lose the stretch here. So Justin, I'd like you to reach your hand back and just hold there, whether they're sitting on a bench, a stool, a chair, etc find the back of it to the side and this will stabilize his trunk and shoulder girdle down so now when you pull with your hand the stretch is focused into this right cervical thoracic region so that's with left rotation now come on back here now I want you to rotate to the right and still take your left hand and come up and over the top and now pull your head and neck down to the left but with right rotation and you should feel it in slightly different musculature up in here because of the change in the rotation. Okay, then we can do it for the left cervical thoracic region. Find the back of the bench, chair, stool. Rotate to the right. Come up and over the top of your head with your right hand. And now using just your right hand, let your head and neck stay relaxed. Bring your head and neck down to the right and that should stretch the left cervical thoracic region. Then we do it with the other rotation. There we go, rotating left, and use your right hand and pull yourself down, and we get this stretch nicely done in here. Okay, you can go back to a comfortable position. So the idea is by going down to the left, for example, we stretch everything back to the right, so the posterolateral quadrant back here. But by having two different rotations, we can preferentially stretch some of the muscles versus some of the other muscles. So for example, the right upper trapezius is a contralateral rotator, so it's a left rotator. So if we want to stretch the right upper trapezius, we need right rotation. So he'd be in that direction. However, the right splenius capitis, splenius cervicis, levator scapulae, those are ipsilateral rotators, so they do rotate you to the right. So to stretch them best, we need left rotation, which we did the first time over. So by going in one rotation versus the other rotation, we preferentially stretch some of the muscles and not the others, and then vice versa. Very often when we recommend a stretch to a client, we ask them to go home and do it. When they come back the next visit, I always ask them to show me the stretch. And very often, they're way off on how the stretch is done because they don't have a kinesthetic sense of how to do it. But with this particular self-care stretch, a number of years ago, an assistant of mine gave me a way of describing it that is really quite fun and cute. And as a result, clients remember it. So when you go this way, Justin, I want you to smell your armpit. Then when you go the other rotation, I want you to listen to your armpit. And when people hear that, they laugh, it's funny, but the most important thing is they remember it. So very important to recommend self-care stretch for the tight muscles in the back of the neck, top of the shoulder, rotating one direction, rotating the other direction, and going down to the side, lateral flexion with flexion. If you liked this video, know that it is part of our video streaming subscription service. Click the link below for more information and receive a free ebook when you sign up.